he was playing on it, but now that you're sitting there. Good evening, everyone. Before we get started, we have a couple of housekeeping items. Anyone who wishes to take pictures at any time during the ceremony is invited to come closer to the front. Natalie Stevens will be taking pictures of all graduates and award winners. Please visit our Facebook page to access these photos. Please ensure all cell phones are on silent or turned off during the ceremony. Haik Olam, Memini Se Uvavit. Someday it will delight you to remember these things. Welcome to Renfrew Collegiate's 112th commencement. It is our pleasure to extend a sincere welcome to the award presenters, to the parents and guests present this evening, and especially to the group of young women and men being honored in this ceremony, our graduating students and award winners. We will begin this evening by asking Trustee Susan Humphreys of the Renfrew County District School Board to bring greetings from the board. Thank you very much, Todd. Good evening, everyone, and thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to be here. I always really enjoy coming to the graduation here. On behalf of the Renfrew County District School Board, I do bring greetings and congratulations and best wishes to each and every graduate. I also want to take this opportunity to thank your support team. First of all, Principal Hughes and Vice Principal Dom, and of course all of your teachers, who not only work hard to provide excellent experiences for you, but they also care about each and every student who enters this school. And a big thank you to your parents, friends, family, and community. This support, too, is critical to your success. I know that you likely have been hearing lots of advice that's meant to help you in the next stage of your lives. And I have to admit, I have one little piece of advice for you as well, so you can add this to your list. One of the most important things that you can do is to cultivate strong relationships. It really is all about people. I'm sure you know that when you leave RCI, it's the people, friends, teachers, coaches, family, that you will miss the most. No matter what you're doing next, you need to cultivate strong relationships. Be a support to others, and they will provide that support back to you. Be open to meet new people and find out what's important to them. You never know when this connection might be critical to your future. So you can add this to your list of things to remember. And with that, I will leave you with three key words to remind you of your time at RCI. Inspire, empower, and achieve. Our teachers and staff work hard to inspire you as students to, to explore your biggest ideas. They empower you by providing the tools you need to grow and learn, and they celebrate with you as you achieve your goals. Congratulations to each one of you, and I wish you strong relationships, great adventures, and much success in the future. Thank you. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us on this special occasion. Graduates, let me begin by saying thank you. I've watched you grow and mature into wonderful young adults. Working with students is the highlight of my job, and you students are especially a highlight. On behalf of all the staff of RCI, congratulations. The education that you have achieved is the envy of most of the world's population, so well done. As you head out into that great big world out there, know that you have what you need to be successful. 
You don't need to worry. Things will work out, though possibly not in ways that you expect. Opportunities will arise that you never anticipated. Seize these opportunities and you will have few regrets. Many new adventures await you, for you are young and time is on your side. Plan for changes because changes always come and try to avoid taking things and people for granted. Faith has a way of taking away precious things from you before you even realize their value. So the seeds of love all around and you will enjoy the resulting harvest wherever you go. An attitude of gratitude will help you to cherish what's important. And while we're on the topic of gratitude, remember to thank all of those who are responsible for your education. Your parents and guardians probably have the biggest part of the education in, in your education, but also the educational staff who served you throughout the years also deserve accolades. Also remember that you owe a debt to society. Taxpayers funded your education in the hope that you would become productive citizens and that their investment would pay off in a better world for all. It's a pretty big responsibility to be a productive citizen. A few weeks ago, we talked about what Brentford Collegiate was like 100 years ago. That was during World War I. In June 1918, students in the graduating class from Brentford Collegiate were expected to go to war. They were expected to live in mud-filled trenches and to kill or be killed in service of their country. Others were expected to nurse our wounded back to health or work in manufacturing weapons or uh, manufacturing weapons intended for killing. Fortunately, society's expectations of you have changed, but you still carry our hopes that you will improve this world. And you have shown that you know what it takes. You and your classmates have raised over $300,000 for cancer research. $300,000. You have donated. <laughs> you have donated twenty thousand dollars to our local hospital. You have run and carried fox runs. You have built schools in Africa. You have contributed to food drives. You've bought gifts for angel trees. Participated in wee days and supported the numerous charities that interact initiates. So yes, I've been very proud to be your principal. And I know that you will carry Renfrew Collegiate's tradition of excellence with you wherever you go. And I have no doubt at all that you will make this world a better place. For you are Raiders after all. Thank you.
marriage certificates to come to the stairs at the left. RCI is proud to recognize graduates of our French program. Two levels of certificates will be awarded this evening, gold and core. Kathleen Watershead of the French department will present gold extended French certificates to students who have completed seven extended French courses. This year, gold certificates are presented to Alicia Neal, Thank you. 